I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by the last TKV in the house. What's happening, my man? You good? Yeah, I'm all good. I'm all good. Good, good. A good night of boxing here at York Hall. We're about to wait for, uh, for Big D to walk into the ring. Obviously, by the time this is out, he, he would have fought. And just kind of your take on David, obviously a heavyweight yourself, just kind of your take on what you've seen from David so far as a pro. It was good. Like, I've done plenty of rounds with David from when we were both amateurs. Not, I believe it was early on in his career. I was an amateur at the time. But a um, very technical heavyweight, you know what I'm saying? Got power in both hands, so I do expect him to put uh, a, a good performance on today and to do the, the business as he um, usually does. So I expect big things from him tonight. Yeah. It's funny you should talk about him being technical as well as heavy handed, not just David, but kind of in the whole scene at the moment. When you look at kind of the younger crop of heavyweights, do you think they're a more technical crop than perhaps we've seen of previous? The, the, the kind of current prospect crop? I mean, all heavyweights can punch, we know that, but is it a more technical crop that we're kind of seeing come through now, do you think? I mean, I feel like a technical crop are starting to creep through because I'm starting to see a lot of technical boxes. Like, if we compare it to the nice type of heavyweight boxing, Ooh. it's a bit difficult, yeah. but like right now, everyone's coming, coming in and they're quite good. I mean, the technical side of things, they're looking quite good, to be honest, yeah. Yeah, really good young crop heavyweights we've got at the moment, obviously. You're included in that early in your professional career. Let's take you back to the Harry Armstrong fight, eight rounds under the belt. How did it feel physically and, and mentally kind of completing them eight rounds? So, as I said previously, I was ill two weeks before the fight. I literally, a week before the fight, I felt down. I was really ill. But I said, you know what, let me take a few days off. Thought I'd recover, I thought I did. Every time I was hitting pads, like, I, I, like my trainer don't even know this, this is the first time I'm saying this to anyone. Every time I was hitting pads, I felt like I couldn't breathe. My chest was clogged up. But I said, you know what, forget that. I'm just gonna carry on, it's a fight. I'll be able to handle it. And I think a day before the fight, obviously we do a little touch, touch pads. And uh, I felt the same way, and I was thinking, you know what, this is funny. But I said, you know what, forget about it. So going to fight now, first round was okay. Then second round, I started feeling it again. I said, oh, you know what, i got to try and take him out. I did hurt him in the second round with a counter left hook. I then tried to take him out in the third really heavy. I really like, put the pace on him. But then after that, I thought, you know what, if I carry on with this pace and the way I'm feeling, I'm not going to be able to do the eight rounds, so I had to slow down my pace. That's the only reason why I didn't get him out of there, the fact that I had to slow down my own pace. But if I didn't, I know for a fact I would have got him out of there. But you know what? We live and learn. Next time I won't make that mistake, I'll make sure I go into that ring 100%, so there's no excuses after, and, not, and, and none of this talk after. We don't want no, no excuses, that's all. Well, eight rounds have been banked, and you've had to overcome a little bit of kind of personal adversity. I guess, so when you look back at that, I mean, and there were some obviously really good bits of boxing in there as well. When you look back at that, um, I suppose you kind of look back and think, you couldn't really have asked for much more considering, like you said, how, how you were feeling. Yeah, of course, you couldn't have really, do you know what? Harry Armstrong was game, he took the shots because I hit him with some big shots and he was not going anywhere. So the fact that he was able to be in there and work with me, like it can't take any way, and it can't take anything away from Harry either, because he was game and he was ready. He had a full camp. He was ready to win. He came to win. In other words, he came to take my spot. So, you know. So uh, you know what? You can't. Uh, I feel like I did everything that I was supposed to do at the time. You know, despite what was going on. He, uh, Harry Armstrong was game. Let's put it that way. He's, he's tough. He's a tough guy. Are you excited? Well, you must be excited by the way your career is going at the moment. Yeah. Just finished an eight rounder and you're four fights in. Um, obviously, everyone moves at a different pace. Everyone's kind of got different goals. But I look at kind of heavyweights around that level at the moment. Four fights in, you just completed an eight rounder. It's got to be an exciting 18 months. There's got to be something kind of, perhaps not next, but there must be something big cooking maybe around the corner. Yeah, of course. This We're trying to build that. Like, we feel like this is the right way for me to go up to the top. You know, like, I mean, something is definitely cooking. We're just building it slowly, but surely we're going to get there. But like the only reason why I'm fighting these type of fights, 50-50 fights, you could, whatever you want to call it, is because I watch boxing, I'm a fan of boxing. 
sometimes when I go to a boxing show, when I go to a boxing show and I see and I see um, a journeyman fight someone like a prospect, sometimes it gets boring, you know. I'm the type. You don't of want to be involved in any of that. I don't really want to be involved in all of that, you know. You get what I'm saying? So I want to give the fans entertain, like entertainment. Just I'm, I'm, I'm all about um, entertainment, and I don't want to be in the, those fights for too long, you know. I want to give the fights 50-50 fights, win or lose. I'm there for a fight, you get what I'm saying? Even though I know there's a lot of risk, there's actually a lot of risk that I'm taking, but I know that this is the the right path for me to to, like, to create a legacy. When people talk about TKV, people are going to talk about TKV fought hard from early. He never t took the easy route. You know, I want people to actually talk about TKV in that way. Yeah. Mate, it's refreshing. It's bloody refreshing to hear that in, in 2023. Um, thanks for giving me some of your time. Really appreciate it. When can we next just see you out as, as a final question? Hopefully very soon. Yeah, uh, yeah ho hopefully very soon. I think, I think by the end of March, early April, we'll see. We'll see how things work out anyway. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife for saying completely different ballgame. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.